It's Friday. It is July the 14th, and this is the Green Bar Valley Church of the Nazarene with your daily devotion. Today we will be reading from the New Testament book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 1 through 11. Here's the word of the Lord. Now, brothers and sisters, about times and dates we do not need to write to you. For you know very well that the day of the Lord will come like a thief in the night. While people are saying peace and safety, destruction will come on them suddenly, as labor pains on a pregnant woman, and they will not escape. But you, brothers and sisters, are not in darkness, so that this day should surprise you like a thief. You are all children of the light and children of the day. We do not belong to the night or to the darkness. So then, let us not be like others who are asleep, but let us be awake and sober. For those who sleep, sleep at night, and those who get drunk, get drunk at night. But since we belong to the day, let us be sober, putting on faith and love as a breastplate, and the hope of salvation as a helmet. For God did not appoint us to suffer wrath, but to receive salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ. He died for us so that whether we are awake or asleep, we may live together with him. Therefore, encourage one another and build up each other, just as in fact you are doing. And that is the word of the Lord. Remember Your Salvation is the article today, and it's written by Karen Henner. Here's what Karen writes. Alvina was inspired. Sitting in the choir loft, Alvina M. Hall, 1820-1889, grew weary as the pastor's sermon went on and on. She began to think about the sacrifice Christ made on the cross, and a poem began to form in her mind. Having no paper, she grabbed a hymnal and jotted the words on a blank page. <clears throat> Later, John T. Grape, 1835-1915, organist at the same church, composed a tune for which he had no words. According to biographers, Alvina and John each shared their creations with the pastor. Eventually, the pastor realized that the poem and music matched and brought writer and composer together. John's music included a refrain, so Alvina added words to her poem. At the pastor's urging, they sent the hymn to a music publisher. Like many hymns, Alvina's words have been edited since she wrote the poem in 1865, but it remains a testimony to the sacrifice Jesus made for us at Calvary. According to today's scripture, we do not have to suffer the results of sin, but can receive salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ. Prayer, Savior, may I always be mindful of the price you paid for my redemption. And the hymn that she wrote is titled, Jesus Paid It All, Alvina Hall. Jesus paid it all, all to him I own. Sin hath left a chrism, chrism stain. He washed it white as snow. And from the book of 1 John, chapter 4, verse 10, this is love. Not that we love God, but that he loved us and sent his son as atoning sacrifice for our sins. And this is your daily devotion for Friday, July the 14th. Have a blessed day.